Good evening everyone, it's Monday the 15th of March, welcome to announcements this week. Um, lots to catch up on this week, so first of all uh, just a reminder that we have the AGM and a mini awards night on the 25th of March, so that's a week on Thursday. Um, mentioned previously that uh, we had a couple of vacancies, um, people have come forward for those and uh, as a result, um, another vacancy has opened up on the committee as an ordinary member. Um, that's a great opportunity for someone who's new to the committee to come along and get involved. Um, there's no specific responsibilities other than to attend meetings and represent the membership. Um, so do please get in touch if, uh, if you're interested in that. Um, as a reminder, you can stand for uh, any position on the committee. Um, you can stand on the night, but we really appreciate a heads up in advance if you are thinking of getting involved. Um, and yeah, speak to me or any of the committee if you're interested. Um, also in relation to the awards, hopefully you will have seen um, either by email or on the website or on Facebook that we have nominations for a small number of awards this year and members can vote on um, two of those, Member of the Year and Race Report of the Year. So please do um, submit your votes and congratulations to all the nominees. Look forward to celebrating some successes uh, next week. Um, a few virtual events from the last couple of weeks to catch up on. Um, congratulations to Leslie for completing the Run for the Trees event. Uh, we also had the British Masters One Mile with some really strong results, so I'll just run through those quickly. Um, we had Xenophon Gugavitis in 5 minutes 47 seconds, Donato Esposito just behind on 5 minutes 58, Tom Robinson 6 minutes 12, Richard Cutts also 6 minutes 12, Dave Powner 6.17, Matilde Hoosley 6.43, Nicola Mann 6.44, Richard Leaper 7.07, Jude Glenn 7.15, Chris Owen 7.21, Laura Gale 7.45 and Barry Roberts 8.35. Uh, the women's um, over 35 team came 21st and men's over 35 50th, so great results to those. Um, congratulations also to Luke Ireland who ran uh, an event called the 4x4x48, which I think is just uh, Xenophon's 4x4x4 relays on steroids. Um, Luke ran four miles 12 times over a 48 hour period um, with some impressively consistent pacing, clocking in at somewhere between 38 and 41 miles on pretty much every lap, I think. Um, so well done to Luke. Uh, Dave's Park Life event finishes um, this weekend or has finished. Uh, so we'll be able to share the results of that next week. Um, finally, a little bit of exciting news to announce. Those who've been members for a little while will remember that we traditionally run the Yacht Handicap around about the Easter weekend. Um, that's a race where you predict your time, uh, run blind, are you without a watch, and the closest person to their predicted time wins. Um, last year, in, uh, in the early days of lockdown, we converted to the Not Handicap. Um, where we did the same, but people ran on their own with their watches taped over and submitted their results. This year, I'm extremely pleased to say that in keeping with England Athletics guidance and assuming everything goes ahead as expected uh, on the 29th of March, we will be able to run a live yacht handicap event. Um, we're going to run it a week later than Easter to give a little bit more time uh, to prepare. Um, so it'll be the weekend of the 11th of April. Um, we will be limited on numbers and there will be quite a few controls we have to put in place. And also we appreciate that some people might not want to join a live event at this time. So we will be running it as a yacht or not event and you can run either live or virtually. Um, more details to follow, but uh, we'll be, it'll be fully COVID secure and we'll take every sensible precaution. Um, and I do hope that some people will be able to join us for that. Um, we'll also be looking for just a handful of volunteers, uh, not too many because we don't want lots of people hanging around. But if you're interested in volunteering um, as timekeeping or marshalling, uh, please let me know. Um, that's all from me today. Uh, look forward to uh, seeing you all over the next week.